wrath, no fury. Like a mummy scorn. There are worse fates than death. She kind of kicked your butt. Oh, yeah, she does. Kick her off! Tom Cruise up against some seriously supernatural scary girl power. The mummy being a female. That was something that was really appealing to me. Played by Algerian-born actress, dancer, and former model Sophia Boutella. The mummy is the ultimate feminist, isn't she? She's got plans for you. A lot of your films, you push females to the forefront. You, and you make them very powerful. Look, I think women are very powerful. I like strong characters in my movies. Not a lot of people get to throw Tom around the way you got to. He loved just doing that with me, like just figuring out how I could hurt him the, <laughs> the best. What was it, the hardest scene that you had to shoot? Did you see that moment where she's being put in a coffin? That was really hard. I couldn't go anywhere without people picking me up and putting me somewhere. Stay with me. I'm just kidding. Co-star Annabelle Wallace, the archaeologist in the film, with a different experience. There was a scene where I get dragged underwater. I'm on a line and I get dragged down to the bottom. But if I misjudge my breath, that's it, like I'm, I'm, I'm going down no matter what. And I thought, you know, if I'm gonna put myself in this precarious situation, firstly, Tom is responsible for saving me because he's Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I'm sure these guys know what they're doing. Was that the worst one? Zero G was, uh, was interesting. The thing is, it's exhilarating and it's exciting, <laughs> but I don't think I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do that again. She knew exactly what she was signing up for. Well, I was just like, you're gonna love this. Annabelle, look, you'll be able to tell your grandkids one day. You went zero G. We did it 64 times, and it's famously called the Vomit Comet for good reason. I gotta say, I was really kudos to her, truly. Just brilliant at uh, doing this stuff. Never backed off. Same with Sophia. Jenny, you can do this! See the stunts, the power, and the action. The Mummy, out Friday. All right, now let's head back out to Carissa and the gang who are breaking down all the looks turning heads at the SAGs. Thank you very much, Mario. Now I know you're missing out on this one. We're going to talk fashion, and with that, we bring in O Magazine's creative director, Adam Glassman and Renee. Hey, guys, you ready to talk about fashion? Absolutely. It's today's L'Oreal Paris Get the Look. Glitz, glamour, and the giant question, who are you wearing? Gucci, Alexander McQueen. We wanted it, they definitely brought it. Black and white ruled, beads and bling conquered, and you've never seen so much tool, tool, tool. All the ballet-inspired dresses. Mm. Sofia Vergara. Yeah, I didn't recognize and her. And I thought she looked great in that cocktail length. I mean, normally we see Sofia in a mermaid dress. Sofia so girly and glittering in Zuhair Mirage, so diva-esque beauty prepping in Leopard. Kaylee Cuoco ripping what she calls her Sherbert dream dress straight off the Marquesa runway. And Taraji P. Henson blushing in a full-skirted ball gown. With a lot of cleavage going on. Yeah. And a lot of edge, her hair shaved on the sides, wearing these fuzzy slides on her ride over. Making statements in metallics, Michelle Williams and Emily Blunt, who danced out the door in her Cavalli gown with husband John Krasinski. And you can't go wrong with the classics. A lot of people in gorgeous black. So much white. Emma Stone sheer sided, draped in chiffon. I'm interrupting for a second. This dress is gorgeous. Oh, Sorry to do that you. to you, but you can interrupt anytime you want, Adam. Kate Hudson in cutout and sequin Dior, Snapchatting her glam time, revealing the secrets that save her from a wardrobe malfunction. Viola Davis's secret for no wrinkles on her Vivian Westwood gown, bubble wrap, really shining in this 32 carat white gold and diamond necklace. Viola really brought out the bling mm -hmm. with that necklace. Kerry Washington working major trends like off the shoulder and bell sleeves. The men really turned oh, it up tonight. I mean, the two guys from Moonlight, Travante Mahershala. I love a velvet suit and Mahershala in that white suit. Really, he looks so dapper. Stopping the red carpet, fashion forward risk taker Nicole Kidman in liquid green. Fashion with a capital F. Oh, okay. Naomi Harris relaxed in a long, long pantsuit. Really cool, different for the SAG Awards. Yeah. Super cool in Tiffany Jewels. So I get a close up of these earrings. Aww, so Beautiful. Nice. So if you had to choose a best dressed, who would it be? Oh, that's very hard. So hard, we've picked a top three. Taraji P. Henson's sheer and sexy dress. Sarah Paulson, amazing and mm -hmm. Vera Wang. Brie Larson, she was just so simple yeah. and minimal, just stunning. Just fashion at its best for today's L'Oreal Paris Get the Look.
Now, from Oscar Flubs to Oscar's fabulous fashion show, so Barge, who made your best dress list? I have to say Jessica Biel. I thought she stole the show in that Coffin Franco dress. She was like her own trophy. Yeah. Right there. I also liked uh, Viola Davis. I thought she, she looked beautiful. beautiful. Haley Steinfeld looked so great, pretty. too. Now, Carissa and our fashion guru, O Magazine's Adam Glassman, had a bird's eye view mm -hmm. of the world's most fashionable red carpet. This red carpet, the only red carpet where this much glamour meets this much glitz. Forever mark on the ears and the hands. Fashion goes platinum. My own trophy right here. We're revealing every who are you wearing detail. Valentino, Prada, Armani. Nicole Kidman absolutely glowing. Beaded in backless gown, naked Stuart Weitzman's and. I'm in 119 carats of diamonds from Harry Winston. Pink drop earrings, 30 carats. Bracelets totaling 75 carats. That ring, almost 14. Her look leading the hot trend of the night. A lot of metallics on the red carpet. I'm a stone. She looks super Super modern. It's almost like two dresses in one. A mini dress and then a long maxi dress with this fringe. And I like how simple her hair is. Jessica Biel working out extra hard. It was like some assisted squat jumps. Before slipping into her golden Kaufman Franco gown and Tiffany statement necklace. I think it's cool because it's distressed and it's basically just leaving a trail of sequins everywhere oh, yeah. I go. It's gonna if become we need a mini to find dress. our way back home, right. we're good. You gotta watch people with sweaters. Hansel and Gretel yeah. of dresses. Yes. Right. Chrissy D a firecracker and belted in high slit zoo hair Marat. Is she running by you? Or? Well, she showed me a photo and I was like, that's the one. It's very tight though. Octavia Spencer in feathered Marquesa and $1.2 million worth of Forever Mark Diamond. My Glamour favorite. Glamour girl herself, Charlize. And look at that leg. The plunging neckline, the pleated dress. Those yeah. earrings. Making the ultimate statement in over 59 carats of Chopar diamonds. Her Grecian gown right off the Dior Haute Couture Catwalk. Priyanka and Ralph and Russo, the silver trend, the matching cup bracelets. Winning for the most expensive jewels of the night with these 60 carat $5 million Lorraine Schwartz earrings. That's incredible. Haley Steinfeld, the dress front and back. Perfection. Even more perfect with 750 grand of Neil Lang Bling. Well, you look like a princess. I go what I what I love and what I feel good in. These stars having the feels in not so basic black. Janelle Monet in this risk taking ripped from the Ellie Saab runway. I had this picked out months ago. Michelle Williams taking the plunge in Louis Vuitton. Halle Berry killing it in Versace. I love her hair. The train on this dress looks incredible. Later ditching her dress and taking the plunge on Instagram. What do you think about? About Brie Larson. This is an Oscar de la Renta debut. Great yeah. ruffle train. Ruth Nega and Oscar winner Viola Davis seeing red. One of the most flattering dresses I've ever seen on Viola Davis. Taraji P. Henson stunning in custom navy blue velvet by Alberta Ferretti. Deep V neckline. And that necklace is spectacular. Perfect. Well, of course, there's only one thing to do after the Golden Globes, and that's hit the after party. And you know I'm down for that. Oh, I know it. <laughs> well, Terry is on the guest list and hanging out with all the big winners. I'm here at the HBO party where all the big stars came up to the Golden Globes. On the red carpet, Reese Witherspoon and Nicole Kidman hand in hand, ready to party. Catching a falling star, Sarah Jessica Parker. Oh, nice save. Viola Davis proudly showing off her trophy. Laverne Cox, a big fan. I'm not stalking Viola Davis, maybe a little bit. Brian Cranston praising host Jimmy Fallon. It is uplifting and positive, and I think that's the energy that he infused on the stage tonight. The host of the night at NBC's party, dishing on his first minutes on stage. It's definitely live, as you can tell with the teleprompter going out. What do we do here? I thought maybe that might happen, but I didn't think the first act would happen. Kendall and Kylie Jenner stealing this carpet in super high slit gowns. Hers orange, hers silver. Taking us inside their sister date night, eating pizza and managing a selfie in a packed elevator. This is us stars party hopping to not one, but three bashes. NBC's Fox's Mandy Moore at In Styles. This is the one where everyone can sort of like cut loose and actually have fun. The yeah, Affleck boys celebrating Casey's win, Tracy Ellis Ross color matching gowns and globes with Viola, Priyanka Chopra and Sofia Vergara cracking up on the carpet, everyone getting in on the elevator action for InStyle's Instagram. The kids from Stranger Things on everyone's meet and greet list at Netflix's and the Weinstein Company's party, Naomi swooning over photos of Kerry Washington's kids, a gallery of all the party pics, and up now at ExtraTV.com. Right, let's check out the other items trending on social media today.
Jennifer Lopez photobomb by Derek Hough on the set of World of Dance. He photoshopped himself in that right. one. <laughs> exactly. I am looking forward to checking out this show, The World of Dance. I was actually speaking with Jenna Dewan Tatum about it. She was Snapchatting from the set and came across this problem. But I have to stand in them for hours. Full respect to you and all the ladies at stand. Today I'm wearing tennis oh, shoes. Oh, you cheater. Yeah, today I'm wearing cheater, tennis shoes. Cheater, right. I was about to give you props. I was about to give you props on the red carpet with the heels. <laughs> red well, carpet, yes. <laughs> Jenna didn't need any kind of shoes or barely any clothes for that matter when she went on a mini Valentine's vacation in Hawaii with her husband, Jen. Yeah, and she's looking incredible. Yeah. How she's ever had a kid is beyond me. But speaking of hot bodies, Britney Spears posting this picture on Sunday, and yes. I guess we'll call that what, Mario? Sunday fun day. Hey. We're doing it just because. <laughs> uh, yeah, she is looking better than ever these days. Mm -hmm. Right now, though, let's throw it over to AJ in New York, who has some news on the Beckham's family vacation. Hey guys, so Victoria and David took their kids to the snow in Canada, but the couple didn't expect their son Brooklyn's snowboarding accident, breaking his collarbone. Mm. See, that's the reason right there why I don't go snowboarding, Trudy. Oh, is that the reason, yeah. Mario? <laughs> or skiing for that matter. Something tells me you don't like being cold. <laughs> there, there might be that too. What, what about you? You're a big skier? Yeah, I'm from Seattle. We go to Whistler all the time. Oh, I'm not a good snowboarder, but I am a good skier. Lindsey Vaughn over here, I didn't know. Madonna posting this brand new mama moment of her four-year-old adopted twins, Stella and Esther, singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Twinkle, twinkle. You know, if your mom's Madonna, hey. You gotta be musically inclined. Right? Sylvester Stallone's daughter, Sistine, fashion's newest it girl. Starting London Fashion Week by catwalking for Topshop in this floral lavender cutout midi dress. Former model and mom Jennifer Flavin and older sister Sophia there to support. Sistine, who's already walked for Chanel and Dolce & Gabbana, definitely on her way to becoming the next supermodel. He's a baseball legend getting ready to be a dad. I am very excited. I can't wait. Looking forward to it. Derek Jeter and his very pregnant wife, Hannah, back at Yankee Stadium as his famous number two jersey is retired. This is one of those special days that you'll never forget. Hannah showing off her baby bump in a nude Kushni et Ox dress and duster coat rumored to be delivering their daughter sometime this month. She's doing very good. Thank you. Miley Cyrus returning to the stage after stepping away from music for two years. Next to you. Singing her new number one hit Malibu at Kiss FM's Wango Tango in LA, star colliding with Katy Perry. I love you so much, my girl. Looking bomb, sounding bomb. Still thinking about her man Liam Hemsworth rocking his name on her ears. She's not afraid to admit she can sometimes stick her foot in her mouth. You're not skinny enough, smart enough. Are you saying that to me? Yes. Yes, that's what's really happening to Chelsea Handler on her new Netflix show. It's fun. We have an hour on Fridays. We have. Lots of great people. Her dinner party with Rashida Jones and Big Bang Theory's Jim Parsons, which has tied the knot with longtime partner Todd Spiewak, just as great. The celebrity stuff and, you know, make fun of our president, all the stuff I love to do. Love and making fun of President Trump, not loving the idea of having him on the show. I have nothing to say to him. He switches his mind every two seconds. It doesn't make any sense to have a conversation with him. She's good at taking care of her body, taking these sexy bed series shots, and Lee Michelle knows how to indulge. Pizza, pasta. I'm Italian, so those are my favorites. Buck can balance the bad with the good. I try to eat as healthy as I can. The actress and singer is sitting down in the middle of New York City for her must-have healthy snack on National Hummus Day. We're here with Sabra celebrating and I'm such a fan. I swear on my life I've literally had Sabra in my refrigerator I think as long as it's been around. It's really a food that brings everyone together. I can't wait to start eating. Extra, extra, extra. Healthy hair, luscious lashes and a killer body. Who isn't after all of that? Well, we went straight to the stars to get their beauty tips and tricks. Hair like Olivia, lashes like Jenna, and a body like a Victoria's Secret model? Yes, please. As long <laughs> as I have a good styling tool, I'm fine. Former Miss Universe Olivia Colpo spilling her secret to those luscious locks. Celebrity hairstylist Justine Marjan. My favorite hairstyle was for a polo match. Big, thick, curly, long hair. <laughs> Together, teaching us how to use just one tool, the GHD Platinum Styler. An S wave, you'll just bevel the iron in one direction and then bevel it in the opposite direction. The next look we're gonna do is sleek and polished. Flat iron the roots, use a pomade. Brush it back, then use concealer to blend the part. Done and done. Hollywood's HD secret, eyelash extensions. They're not meant to look like they're wearing any makeup. Stars like Jenna Dewan Tatum, Selena Gomez, and Renee Zellweger loving Blink Bar in LA, faking the au natural, lash by lash, but with benefits. 
We also have an active lash adhesive, which allows um, you to get it wet instantly. Some people actually find their own natural lashes get longer because they're not kind of curling them every day. Cellulite, not just a fatty myth. Fascia and cellulite, and they're the exact same thing. Ashley Black, body guru to the stars, developing the Fascia Blaster. The easiest way to explain uh, how to restore fascia is to think of it like a hair knot. If you take a fine tooth comb and you start raking a little bit at a time through the knot, then it'll smooth out, and that's really the way the fascia blaster works. Revealing smoother, defined, and cellulite-free skin. On the upper thighs, we've seen results with bat wings, stomachs, butts, backs. Model Tony Garn, already a fan. We had a really great result. Learn more in Ashley's new book, The Cellulite Myth, out now. Well, this Tuesday is also Valentine's Day, and if you're looking for the perfect gift, we're getting some ideas stars like Gabrielle Love. Reese Witherspoon and husband Jim Toth setting their plans. Is Valentine's Day a big thing for you? I love it. Even if we just go have dinner, it's like just nice to talk and connect. So what do you get your Valentine? I married the homie, and it's been the best decision of my life. The best thing for Gabrielle Union to give her Chicago Bulls star husband, Dwayne Wade, the perfect nightcap. A really amazing dark chocolate blended with whiskey. You won't get too drunk off of it. Comparte swirling up the best chocolate flavors from rosé truffles to heart-shaped chocolate art and... We have 24 karat gold truffles that we hand dust filled with strawberry champagne. Lacey lingerie always satisfies, especially when it comes in a bouquet of roses. From Hanky Panky, this features the world's most comfortable thong. How adorable is this? It goes from rose to thong just like that. And you can't go wrong with diamonds from Takori. Classic solitaires, diamond studs, the bracelet, intertwined design. It comes with this little key, and it's the only way that you can lock or unlock the bracelet. Helen Ficalora Charms, another way to say I love you. Go for the heart-shaped pendants or earrings. Model BFFs Kendall Jenner and Gigi Hadid know sunglasses make the perfect I love my best friend gift. Crew sunglasses. They're modern, iconic. Great for Selena Gomez and Haley Baldwin, too. And great for guys, just ask Zane Malik. For more gift ideas, go to extratv.com. Come on, guys. It's okay to admit you want a rock hard body like The Rock, David Beckham, and Zach Efron. Push ups, pull ups, dips. That's it. But if working out isn't working for you, now you can get a ripped physique with high def lipo. We can literally create a six pack that day. Beverly Hills cosmetic surgeon and dermatologist Dr. Jason Emmer reshapes, sculpts, and contours to give you those cut results. 29 year old firefighter High is the perfect candidate. It's a young athletic male, works out really hard, already has a lot of muscle but there's things that are missing that he can't see from his workout routine. So we're really gonna go in and just do a defining procedure. Basically, we're creating a ripped body. Reshaping his stomach, chest, back arms, and buttocks by removing fat, sculpting, and creating definition. It takes much longer than a traditional surgery, but the outcome is 100 times better. This is high before the procedure. Wait three to four weeks after the procedure to be back to activity. Taking it easy, then you can start and go harder and harder as the, as the weeks to months go on. Now, the final outcome is about six months to a year after the procedure. This is High Now with the body of his dreams. Spotted Jamie Foxx, Emma Stone, Kendall Jenner, and the entire Kardashian clan. Kendall Jenner had her 21st birthday here. The whole family was here. She was very happy. It's the new celeb hotspot in Hollywood. Judd Apatow, Cindy Crawford, even Mariah Carey love and catch LA. They feel comfortable coming here and coming back. So Mariah, she's been here probably five times. Extra getting a VIP tour with co-owner Mark Birnbaum. The vibe here is very like escape from reality, almost vacation vibe. The arrival and the entrance was the most important part of this project. Walking through a transporting entrance of vines and fountains, settling in under a retractable roof for 360 degree sky views of LA. When you can sit outside all year round, it's such a beautiful thing to be able to eat and drink and socialize. Catch is pretty unique. It's a seafood restaurant, but we have a little bit for everybody. So, what's on the menu? On the sushi side, our catch roll has always been the number one seller. Our most popular drink is our Cali, which is made with like jalapeno infused tequila. Dessert wise, the number one is the Hit Me Cake. When you hit it, things happen. Amazing. And we can't wait to hit up Catch LA.